Well, how's it going, folks? Welcome back to another video. We got a bit of a different one for you today. We actually at home right now. As you can tell, we just got this bad boy. This is our friends. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll link their Instagram down below, but they have been working on this thing for the past couple months. They decided to let us borrow it. So we are taking this to the old trout park down at Bent Springs. I don't know, it's about two hours west of us here in St. Louis. So uh, should be a, should be a good episode. I'll, I'll kind of show you guys camping in this and uh, fishing down in the trout park. So I'll give you guys a tour when we're on the road because we kind of got to go, just got off work, got to get down there. But I want to give you guys an intro before it's all loud. We got the old bus, we're going fishing. So it should be a good video, stay tuned. So after my dad and I got, both got off work, we packed up the bus and headed down 44. We got stuck in a little bit of traffic, which was frustrating because we were both so excited to go fishing. But after about three hours, we finally made it down there. Danny, you're stuck on the walk. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you did. You got stuck on the walk. Okay, there you go. Get it back. Oh, that is a fish. That's what I'm saying. Okay, watch out. Okay, hold that. This time is mine. I don't have a stringer. I don't have a stringer. It was mine. You believe me now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. He got it down the hatch pretty good there. I'm telling you. Bro, what did he do to this? <laughs> Why right, folks ever go the uh, first fish? That was kind of an awkward catch. I don't even know whose catch that was. If it was mine or my sister's, but we got a fish in the, got a fish on on this uh, this salmon egg. I'm fishing with this marabou chick here with a a dropper to this. Uh, to the salmon egg here, so yeah, we'll see. There we go. First, just switched to the uh, the old spinning reel, and I got me one. Oh. I think he got away. Dang, he did. Oh, he's right here. Not anymore. Well, that stinks. Well, I need a net. Yeah. Yep. Not letting this one get off. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna first dab with that net. Yeah. Rocks, okay. Let me let me catch two real quick. Okay. Yeah. Do you wanna go up the creek where you might be able to cast a little bit better? Look at that. You catch one on my line. It's the tiniest trout in the whole creek.
It's a big production for a four ounce fish. Oh, they're biting again. Would you give them four ounces? Each side. Okay. Alright folks, so so far we have two trout on the stringer. I realize I've been a little slow on the uh but I caught the one on my dad's fly rod. It had like a just a little white I don't know, nymph on there. And the other one I caught. I caught a couple on a, a white and black marabou jig that was kind of an accident. But so now I'm back to my original rig with the salmon egg on bottom and a black and red marabou jig on top. So, let's see. A little deep pole over here. I right, feel kind of a leader here, but still only on a, still only had two fish. I think I'm trying on a little uh, my fly here. So we'll see what we got going on. But so far going pretty good. Let's see, got about one hour left of, until the park closes here. So, yeah, having fun. All right, folks, we're back in the game. I've got this little. Uh, I think this is a caddis fly. We're seeing these fly everywhere. So, little guy right there. Kind of hard to see. It's not focusing, but it's a fly. No. Let's see if we can catch one on the dry fly. There we go. Oh, got one? Hey, easy there, buddy. Easy there. Don't come off now like the other ones. All right, got him on shore. Nice. Oh, shit. My third fish of the night. That's a little bow there. It's on the uh, red and black marabou jig well there we go just like that we're one away from getting our limit Do I let him go or keep fishing? 15. I'll let him go. I can say I caught my limit. Oh, okay, there he goes. Okay. All right, folks. Well, there was uh, my limit, but I decided to let him go because I want to keep fishing. We got about 15 minutes until. Uh, Part closes, so. All right, folks, just got the trout cleaned up. That's the end, the, uh, the bell rang, but I ended up having, I have three on the stringer. I had 
four that I landed. I just I let that one go because I wanted to catch another one, but apparently I couldn't. But overall, super fun day. So now we're actually going to camp here. We're going to camp because uh, we got the trap shooting competition. So we're going to camp over there, but I'll show you guys camp when we get there. Yeah, we won't, we won't eat the trap tonight, but got some other food, so yeah, fun night. Tomorrow. Well, all right, folks, we are indeed back at the house. So I know I've been experiencing with you guys. I was going to show you our camping site when we got to the trap shooting competition, but it was like 10 o'clock at night when we got there, and we were really just camping in the field. Here, I have a picture of us in front of the bus. I'll, I'll put that here. It was literally just a grass field, and we, we got there, we ate like three granola bars, and then went to bed. So, And then woke up the next day and tried our competition. So it really was not that interesting, but I figured to give you the tour we got home so we're home now we got it all cleaned up about to return it to our uh, to our buddy but i give you guys a tour of where we were camping and what we were doing all right so starting from the front of the bus here we got a couch right here on the left side this is kind of it doesn't fold out to a bed but there's storage underneath there so that's kind of a riding spot and here obviously your bus seats for another riding spot and here's a table that sets up right here so that's a good you know dinner table or plate garden table or whatever and then over here we got obviously driver steering wheel cup holders all the stuff like that got the door over here you know just your standard bus door except there's no handle to get it started so it takes a little anyway so yeah pretty standard up here just a couch then right here we got the faucet and the stove this is um we didn't use the stove well one because it's not finished yet and the uh, the wires for all the electric are still dangling above it so that's not great and you know propane inside might get a little sketchy so we got that. Uh, I think there's storage and stuff underneath here. And here's the sink. It's fed by gravity. Here, there's a water tank here in the bathroom. I'll show you guys. I don't think there's even water in here. No, there's no water in there. But yeah, just gravity. And then it comes here. And I, I think it drains outside the bus. So that's the sink. And this is kind of just you know, a food prep area, cutting board, whatever you need to right here. And here, coming here, we got double bunks right here. So top bunk, bottom bunk. Actually, I took a nap here on the way down on 44. That was fun. But, um, yeah, just a standard bunk here. I think there's storage underneath this one. But top bunk, bottom bunk here. It's good for two people. And here we got the bathroom. Because I believe for storage, for insurance reasons, for an RV, it ha has to be a bathroom. So it's a five-gallon bucket. And there's some uh, composting material for the, uh, you know, what goes in the toilet. And uh, here's the water tank for the sink. Fill this puppy up, strap her in, and then the gravity feeds her down there to the sink. So that's the water tank system for the sink. And the electric's still coming back here. There's the bathroom. There's also no door, and there's a window right there. So probably not much privacy for the uh, bathroom part. I'm coming back here to the back. We got another double bed. Uh, these are a little bigger. I don't know what size they are. Twin size, maybe? But I slept up here. It was a really good sleep. Um, yeah, I mean, swept great, has a, yeah, basically just a bed up here, and down here, same deal, another bed, uh, you probably could sleep two people up here, it'd be a little tight, I don't know if all these two by fours would hold, uh, two people, but, yeah, and then, kind of, storage facility, right here, and then, come around, you got a side door here, and then also, you got, back door right there that we we unloaded and loaded stuff in there so yeah that was pretty much it we had a we had a fun time camping I kind of felt a little sketchy honestly we were at the trap shooting place in the middle of a field we just kind of camped out there and the sketchy looking bus here i'll show you the guys the side in a second kind of looks sketchy thought we might get attacked by meth heads or something but we didn't so it was a super fun time you know we caught a bunch of fish not a bunch but we, we caught some fish some on the fly which is also fun so anyways Oh, I'll show you guys the side of the bus. Yes, yeah, so there's the bus. She looks a little sketchy. It hasn't had a paint job yet, but when she has a paint job, I'm sure she'll be fine. And yeah, here's the outside door I was showing you. And here's the back door where we used to load and unload stuff. Anyways, appreciate the view, y'all. Hopefully it was a good video. Caught some fish, drove down there, drove back, camped. Anyway, good weekend, super fun adventure. So appreciate the view. Catch y'all on the next one.